y'all, it's J Janae. Today I'm gonna be doing a get to know me tag while I get ready for class, so yeah. Jump right into the video. So the first question, what's my name? What's my name? My real name is Ajayla. I'm not gonna tell you my last name. There's no need to. <laughs> Spelled like Jayla with an A on the front. That's my name. Next question is, how old am I? I am 21 years old. I know I get that I look like a like a kid. I get like I look like I'm 12 or 13. No lie. I'm grown. I'm legal in these streets. I'm 21. 21. Next question is, where I'm from? I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. A lot of people say I'm like country or whatever oh you sound like you from memphis <laughs> well that's because i am i don't know what else i'm supposed to sound like next question where do i live now now i currently live in jackson mississippi <laughs> i currently live in jackson mississippi i go to school here so this is where i live i actually live in a place. I don't even stay on campus right now. So I'm a resident of Jackson City. That's right now. How tall am I? I am five four. Five foot four inches. A lot of my friends call me a midget. I'm not a midget. I'm I always say I'm pretty tall for a female. Like I when I stand next to girls, I'm pretty tall. Pretty average. I'm pretty average for a girl. What's my favorite color? My favorite color is black. Black goes with anything. Black is slimming. I love black. Like, you go through my wardrobe and it's 98% black. Whenever I'm looking at outfits and stuff, I'm like, this would be so cute in black. Like, this would snatch my body up in black. And then I end up having a whole closet full of black items. <laughs> favorite drink? Okay, so... I know it's like a debate on what a drink is and how people, you know, say sodas or whatever. We call drinks, we call like Pepsi's regular drinks, we call them drinks, not alcoholic beverages. So this question says, what's my favorite drink? And my favorite drink is sweet tea. I don't even drink alcohol, so I wouldn't even be able to answer that for you. Even if that was what the question was talking about. I don't drink. Sweet tea. It's my favorite drink. My first best friend. My first best friend. From what I can remember. Was either this girl nicknamed Kui Kui. We were kids. We were kids. So don't. Like, either between Kui Kui and this girl name was Tanya. So those were like my first like, that I can remember. First best friends. So if y'all watching this, hi! Dogs or cats? Now here's the thing. I was originally paranoid of cats. Like I had a bad experience with a cat and then like, I just rolled off cats as a whole. Like forget cats. No. But recently, like, I'm starting to dig cats. Like, it's starting to, like, appeal to cats. Like, I want a cat. But I'm definitely a dog person. I love dogs. Like, I was at one of my friends' house when I was little, and she had a cat. And I was sitting on her bed, and the string to my pants was dangling from the bed. And the cat was under the bed. So... Cats like strings or shit dangling. So it kind of like thought I was playing and it scratched me. It scratched me really good. Like it bust me to the white meat. That cat bust me to the white meat. If you know anything about that. <laughs> oh, that cat scratched me. Like I could see the white meat. And I, after that, I was like, no. Thank you, one cat. What year was I born? 
I was born in 1998. Ugh. Like saying it now, I just, it's like, ugh. I go to school with people who were born in 2000s. So I definitely be feeling like old lady. Are you in college? I am in college. I attend the Jackson State University in Jackson, Mississippi. Tea or coffee? Like I mentioned before, my favorite drink is tea. Sweet tea. So, tea. Life goal. My life goal is to basically be able to live the life that I want to live. It's not cute. I want to be able to live the life that I want to live. Like the life that I dreamed about. I want to be able to do everything that, you know, I want to do. I want to be able to travel. I want to be able to have a family and provide the life that I wish I had for them. And so whatever it takes to do that, that's what I want to do. And that's my life. Oh, period. Play sports. Ha! So in high school, well, before high school, I was a sports girl. I was, I played volleyball I was a cheerleader I played softball and then when I got into high school I found my love for marching band and so that's what I do now and yes don't come for me marching band is a sport period and we can fight about it especially at Jackson State University in the Sonic Boom of the South it's a sport. We do more work than any other organization on campus, and that's on period. Don't fight with me, fight with your mama. I will go there with you about that one. That's a touch subject. Have any books changed my life? I know this is gonna make it sound like I haven't read a book since I was little, but this one really like changed my life. So this is what I'm gonna talk about. When I was little, I loved Dork Diaries. I loved them because I related to them. I related to that girl. Like, I always felt like, you know, I was that kid. Those books taught me to like embrace my personality and that, you know, there's somebody out there that's going to embrace it too and that's gonna enjoy the fact that I'm me. So, those books gave me confidence. You read Dork Diaries, let me know. So I don't feel like a dork. <laughs> favorite movie. Uh, my favorite movie. That's kind of it's kind of hard because I like a lot of movies. But I think my all-time favorite movie would have to be like Jeepers Creepers. <laughs> yes, Jeepers Creepers. I love scary movies. Love scary movies. I could watch them like all day. And I could watch Jeepers Creepers to this day, like multiple times, I can watch it all day. No matter how many times I've already watched it, I could watch it again. So I would have to say Jeepers Creepers. He? <laughs> Favorite YouTubers. Besides me, <laughs> you know, I have to be arrogant. Besides me, my favorite YouTuber would have to be Sophieology. I love her. Like, she's gorgeous. She's everything that I want to be in a woman, like, would I aspire to be as a woman? Like, I see sociology. Dierra and Ken, DK4L, period. I love them. And my girl from Memphis. So you know I gotta show her love. Like, I gotta support. She from the city, so. And they just, they just, they, they just, like, you can tell that their love is genuine and I love that. I'm a sucker for love. Huh? Slice and Rice. They just got married. Oh my God. They're so funny. Slice and Rice is so funny. If you haven't, like, subscribe to them or watch their videos, go do that. I'm going to put you on right quick. Slice and Rice. I love them. They're so funny. Another couple that you, like, know for a fact is just genuine. Like, their love is true and it's not for the cameras. It's, like, literally just them being them. The Beast Family, Beast Family with um, Queen Beast and Beast Mode and Baby Layla, all of them. Like, I just got into watching them, and I love it. She just announced that she's pregnant, period, baby, yes! She's about to bring another duckling in the world. I love it. Like, 
if, if, you, if you can't tell, like, I'm literally a sucker for love. Like, all of these channels, basically all my favorite channels are, are couples. So I just love watching them. And Tay and Lou, I like them too. They do good mukbangs, and they're, a, I love them. Like, they be having me crying. Their love is genuine as well. Speak any languages? Yes, I speak English. <laughs> Single or taken? Baby, I'm taken. I'm happily taken. Dream date. My dream date. I'm very simple. I love the simple things. So, like, getting dinner and watching a movie at the house is always, like, my favorite thing to do. But, like, a dream date would be going to a seafood restaurant and just, like, letting me pick out. <laughs> or anywhere to eat. I love it. Longest relationship. Longest relationship was a year and 11 months. We were right there by two years. But this relationship that I'm in now, it's forever. So, this one. We're, we're, we're approaching two years. So, I can, couldn't say. How many siblings? I have three. Two on my mom's side and one on my dad's side. And I'm the youngest on both sides that's why i'm so spoiled because i get what i want i'm the youngest most memorable vacation my mom took me and my family to florida it was really fun we went to this resort it was like the first time we actually like did something fancy because we didn't really go out we didn't go on vacations really we didn't really go on vacations so like this was the one time where we actually went and vacated and like went and just enjoyed ourselves and it was really fun and i met this girl at the pool this little um this little white girl and we were like we would go to the pool every day and i would meet her her and her family her and her mom and stuff that were at the pool every day and so like we were that was like my vacay bestie like we were best friends like she got my address and everything like the lady got my address and when we got home she sent actually a letter she sent me a letter and a picture of the girl and their family and it was like really nice so that was the most memorable one because i met them and it was like our first we're gonna do this type thing describe first crush well, he was all tall, and he was light-skinned, and he had these brown eyes, and I just... <laughs> my first crush is my boyfriend now. Yeah, he was all tall and shit. <laughs> and he had brown eyes. Like, James' eyes are brown. They're so pretty. They're so pretty. I always say, if my kids don't have his eyes, I'm not going to be upset. Like, I'm not saying, like, I'm not going to love my kids. That's not what I'm saying. Don't come for me, but I'm saying... And I would like for my kids to have his eyes. When I used to see James, he would always be with his friends. And he he just stood out to me. Like, his friends just weren't there. And every time I saw him, I saw nothing but him. Dream job as a kid. It's a funny story. My dream job as a kid was to be a post office worker. I wanted to be a male woman. <laughs> We're not even going to go into detail on how, but yeah. The place I want to live. So funny story, before I even met James, my dream place of, of residence was Texas. I wasn't sure where in Texas, but I knew I wanted to go to Texas, either Houston or maybe like even one of like the smaller cities in Texas. But then I met James and he's from Dallas, Texas. So... Um, I've been to Dallas a few times with him and met his family and I just love it like I love it So that's how I know like me and him were meant to be So when I graduate I'm moving to Dallas Things or something that I want people to know About me one. I'm not mean. I know I can probably come off as me but Not me if you ever just like ever had a conversation with me you would know that i'm really a sweet person that's one thing and i get lonely that's another thing i feel like people 
see me as this person that is just like all over the place, always having fun, always with their friends, always chilling. But it's not the case. I'm really a homebody. I'm always at home. Probably nine times out of ten, either just with James or I'm by myself. But I get lonely and I want to hang out. So like, hit me up, people, please. Like, I'm fun to chill with. I want to chill. Like, nobody hits me up to chill. Nobody does any of that. So yeah. So this wraps up this video. I hope. This allowed us to get a little bit closer. So now you know a little bit about me. Um, comment down below any other questions that you have for me. Maybe I'll do a part two. Maybe. I have to go to school. It was a pleasure being here with you guys. Smash that like button. Comment down below and subscribe. Other than that, I'll see you later.